Hello, Dynamics community. Today we'll be talking about configuration data project templates. It's a new feature in Dynamics 365 that was introduced in uh, release 8. Uh, please know that it's not available in release 7. I've seen some customers trying to access the feature unsuccessfully in release 7. So on the roadmap dynamics.com, you can read that the new feature was released. Configuration data project templates provide our 20 predefined list of entities for each module area. The templates are sequenced to handle entities that are dependent on other entities. You can add one or more templates to a configuration data project and the sequences will align correctly. In addition to that, you can see that there is a new functionality called configuration data packages. In a nutshell, it's a similar functionality uh, to the data project template, but it can be accessed through a LCS service instead of going to the reach client of Dynamics 365. And I'm gonna showcase you both functionalities. Going back to Dynamics 365, you can see that data management, it's not a module, it's a workspace. I'm not sure where Microsoft is going with this. Let's go to data management workspace and under templates, you can see that we have a load default templates button that is available for us to use. I'm gonna quickly show you that the release that I'm using is uh, update eight. And if you go to a different environment and uh, we'll see the update seven in place, this functionality is not available. The button is not here. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to the release eight. I'm gonna quickly add a default template that was predefined by Microsoft. So in our case, let's do AR. So you can see that we have a template ID, template description. I'm gonna click load selected. This will take some time to load all data entities. So here in this template, you can see all the entities that are related to the AR module. Even setup customer parameters are here, so parameters are included as an entity. So I'm gonna close that form and let's try to export some demo data that we have in our entity. So I'm gonna click export. Uh, please note that I'm using uh, enhanced view. There are two options, uh, standard view and enhanced view. So the one you see here, it's enhanced view. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna name my group for the export, I'm gonna name it AR3, AR3 export. Project category, I haven't figured out the exact use of this dropdown, but to my knowledge is used for the classification of your project. You can classify them whether it's project configuration or integration, etc. So in our case, uh, let's say it's a configuration. I'm gonna add a template. In our case, since we added the accounts receivable template, it's available for the dropdown, target, data format is set to Excel. I'm gonna click OK. After entities are loaded, you see the list and the sequence of entities from the template. Before you can proceed with the export, you need to make sure you select your legal entity that uh, you're gonna export the data from. So you have to click applicable legal entities button on the top. You cannot add an entity as soon as you open the form. So what you have to do, you have to delete the existing record and then you have to add the new one and now you can have your data area drop down available. In my case, I'm gonna select USMF. So now I will click export and the system will start exporting the data. On this screen, you can see that the status is set to executing. You can refresh to update uh, the progress. And the nice features on the right, you can see the actual graph of this uh, export Going here, it's still executing. I'm gonna come back to this once it's completed. Here you have a message that export data processing job was completed successfully. So now I will download the package that we exported. I'm gonna click yes, and the system will download the file with the data that we exported. So this is the file that I was able to download from that export. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly open a cash discount document and you can see that the information was extracted. Now I will use exactly the same method but instead of uh, downloading the data I will upload it to the data legal entities. So to do the import you have to go to the same workspace data management, click the import button and name the project AR imp, AR imp. Uh, data project operation type is set to import. I'm gonna add the file that we downloaded recently the file please make sure to select the source data format that should be the same that was used for exporting the data 
Uh, once the file is uploaded, click close. It'll take some time for all the entities from that file to show up in that list page. The file was uploaded successfully. You can see the new data entity lines being generated. The next step would be is you have to select the legal entity that you are importing the information. I'm going to select the company accounts data, uh, close that form and click import. And as the similar screen to the export screen, you can see that the status is set to executing. You have your little diagram to the right where you can see the progress. To see the progress, you have to click refresh and you can see that it started and you have your progress bar here. You see one in target, one in target, two in target. So I'm not going to wait for the whole file to be uploaded, but you got the concept. Once it's finished, you're going to see the status change to completed. And I want to talk about the new configuration data package statement from Microsoft. Microsoft is stating that configuration data packages are available as process data packages from LCS for core financial modules. These data packages can improve the reliability of implementation and accelerate the configuration of the Dynamics 365. The data packages contain configuration and entity spreadsheet. This entity spreadsheet have best practice data, which can be used to create initial golden build. And this is really useful. Basically, you can use these templates to create data packages and then just deploy these data packages to newly created entities. So I'm going to show you how it's done. You have to go to the LCS account. Uh, select the configuration data manager button and uh, you need to upload the file or data package i'm going to select the same data package that we used for the upload and the reach client i'm going to click upload i'm going to click confirm and you see that the template's been loaded if you click the apply button you'll have to select the environment you want to use and then the company you want to upload this package into I'm not going to do the upload, however, I'm going to click cancel. I want to show you that the system will show you what's in that data package, what type of entities are included. So here you can see to the right that all the entities are related to the R export that we've done previously. Basically, that's the functionality in a nutshell. Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.